Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Spring Game with your boy KSP Supreme back again with another reaction video. All right, so today we are reacting to um, Tyson Fury's Brilliant Boxing Explained. I actually wanted to check out this video just to kind of like get a better feel and understanding of how he fights, right? So I could compare it to Deontay Wilder. But um, overall, I still think Tyson Fury is going to win this fight. Just from past observance, from seeing him fight, I like the way he fights. He's pretty smooth with it. So we're going to take a little deep dive and see exactly, you know, to pretty much dissect his um, his fighting style and his moves and all that stuff. Before we even do get into the video, I just want to quickly check and see his stats. Um, Tyson Fury, he has 30 wins. 21 knockouts out of his 30 wins and one draw that one draw just so happens to be from tyson wilder tyson wilder i mean um deontay wilder oh yeah guys don't forget to like the video and also sub to the channel for more content if you enjoy this content this video all right let's get it being one of the largest men in his division's history, you might think that Tyson Fury would rely on size and strength to bully his way through the competition. Like but most instead, heavyweight fighters, Fury is a pure boxer, I cultivating think. slick movement and subtle traps to confound and embarrass his competitors. See, as a heavyweight boxer, I think he's the only well-rounded, or he is one of the uh, few well-rounded. I don't know a lot of heavyweight fighters, so I don't want to speak too soon. But overall, I think he's well-rounded in terms of actual boxer just because, number one, he doesn't focus mostly or only on his strength. He's, from the Wilder fights, he moves around. He's got good movements and he's got, he, I see him um, actually applying some, a lot of very good fundamentals in his fighting style of, you know, movement, punches, jabs, everything, so... I like that about his style. It's apparent that, although Fury was named after Mike Tyson, he has been far more influenced stylistically by fighters like Muhammad Ali. In fact, like Ali, Fury's yeah. entire repertoire is That's what I think it is. feints, multi-directional jabs, guard manipulations, and next-level head movement. All built yeah, next-level head movement, def agree. So let's take a look at how Fury's used each one of these skills to become one of the best pure boxers on the planet. I yeah, think. bro. I think, yo, what do you guys think? Do you think his style is like is is similar to Ali's style? He looks. F I would say a, a good comparison would be comparing him to his movement to Ali's movement. I haven't seen a lot of Ali's um fights, but from the few that I've seen, bro, he moves like Muhammad. The foundation of Fury style is his timing. Fury makes his opponent in my opinion kind of fight, and in my opinion by disrupting his opponent's rhythm shutting down their offense almost entirely a fighter's rhythm is everything it allows him to time his shots move efficiently in ways he's familiar with and regulate his breathing think of how professional runners time their breathing patterns to their steps if a fighter's rhythm is consistently interrupted it will sap their energy because of the constant need to readjust and diminish their power by not allowing them to get set in position. Yeah. Most importantly, it will ruin their balance. Fury has an innate ability to read his opponent's intentions and disrupt their movement just as they're getting set to throw a punch. His years of experience have helped him to read subtle Good eyes, by that's why. movements of his opponent's hips. He knows how to read his fighter. Feet. It's similar to the way and Norton that right there is boxing IQ. Was able to tell when Ellie's jabs were coming by watching his shoulder and peck twitch. Every time a competitor prepares an attack, Fury moves offline, forcing them <laughs> nice. to abandon their attempt and reposition. And he does this over. Yeah, I, a lot of it. A lot of his uh, style, his moves come from tremendous, well, great footwork. Like very, very good footwork. That's one thing and I noticed about him. And over again. Look at that. That's footwork right there, bro. L stepping. Boom. Or no, he knows when to go in. Line. A lateral he, shift he looks for a, a tiny weakness. So deep to the inside that it changes his stance to southpaw. Here, Fury laterally shifts into southpaw as he throws a hook, and then lands a nice body shot with his new rear hand. This is a risky maneuver, but luckily for Fury, he can jab almost as well with his right hand as he can with his left. Fury often fires jabs or feints them as he repositions. 
his new angle helping him to sneak in attacks at the same time that he's interrupting his opponent's attacks. When he's not boxing from the outside, Fury will dance like Ali. <laughs> I said it, bro. I know I'm not miser. Like, he looks like a white version of Muhammad right now. Ali would dance deep to the inside in an orthodox stance to line up his jab. Yeah. But Fury will also move deep to the outside in a southpaw stance to do the same. Many of the angles Fury uses are highly creative. Here Fury surprises Klitschko by cross-stepping his lead foot to the outside as he jabs. By cross-stepping with his lead foot, Fury is breaking several of the most basic rules of footwork, but he's also created an angle that Klitschko was entirely unprepared for. Here he does something similar from southpaw, moving inside rather than hearing the <laughs> oh, boxing wisdom and taking oh. a safer outside foot position. Once again, the angle that Fury creates forces his opponent to try and readjust, and Fury uses the time this steals to score. By keeping his hands low and relying on footwork and head movement to stay safe, Fury can shoot out his jabs from below his opponent's line of vision. Like Ali, Fury uses multiple jabs from different angles, flicking them out like a back fist, looping them over opponent's shoulders, or shooting them out straight to their target. By threatening his opponents with feints just as they're about to move in, Fury can effectively control the ring with the slightest of movements and barely any energy expended. And by constantly dipping his shoulders and moving his feet, Fury supplies an endless amount of signals for his opponent to try and interpret, stuttering his movement to this. Yeah, um, I think that's what that's what it is. His stuttering, his stuttering is what's making his opponents off guard, like off balance. Way, lest Fury use his head movement and footwork to completely destroy yeah. his opponent's rhythm. Notice how Fury responds to Klitschko setting his weight forward by moving forward himself. He, they can't tell where he, when he's going to strike and where. And retreat. Which explains how Fury is able to pot shot highly skilled opponents with power punches they should by all means be able to see coming from a mile away. To negate counters, Fury will turn these punches into holds, forcing his opponents to bear his substantial weight or pushing them off balance. I notice he, he does that a lot too. Especially in the last fight against um, Wilder. I think that's what he keeps doing that gets Wilder. Okay. My opinion. I think what Tyson has figured out is that he can run Wilder's stamina down by doing a lot of holds. Just like you saw there. You know, try to hold him. That's going to run him short out of breath. So that way, Tyson... Yeah, Tyson Fury, you know, he can find better openings when Wilder is tired and exhausted. I think that's what he's going for. That's how he's, um, I think that's what he's doing. Or that's exactly, that was his technique in the last fight. When opponents do get close, Fury again channels that lead, Using head movement in conjunction Ooh! with angle footwork to stay safe. Big man Canelo. Fury oh, 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 oh. self titled Look at that. Absolutely ideal for him. Ah, oh, man, all the way. Slipping, pulling, and Yo, I, he's one of my favorites, bro. The lateral shift mentioned earlier puts Fury's rear shoulder in an ideal position. Hands down, I think he's better than Wilder. Well I'm not going to lie. Range. But but I have not seen Wild. I want to see a breakdown of Wilder. I have to see what are understandably highly frustrating for Fury's competitors, and this leads to them rushing and overreaching with their attacks. Of course, this is exactly what Fury wants, and it makes it easier for him to pull off his well-timed counters. Fury's head movement is so precise that he can slip punches by a fraction of an inch, keeping him in position to intercept. He'll either cross his rear hand over his opponent's jab, or lean back just far enough to connect with the lead hook. Whew. Of course, Fury isn't entirely defensive and will finish it if it looks like he can. When he does get aggressive, Fury is at his best using clinch work and wrestling to set up his attacks. Fury doesn't so much break his opponent's guard down to expose their head as much as position their head where he wants it. Here he pulls his opponent into his punch and then frames off his shoulder to create distance. He takes a glancing blow while doing so, but still connects, scoring a knockout. 
and here Fury breaks his opponent's guard by slipping his hand in from the side, and then frames off his head to destroy his posture. And boom! Fury has already taken the heavyweight championship once, and fought an incredible fight with Deontay Wilder ruled as a draw. With the heavyweight division full of interesting competitors with vastly different styles and personalities, it will be exciting to see the no doubt epic fights that Tyson Fury still has in store for us. If you would like to learn more about Fury's head movement, you can pre-order Aggressive Defense. The book is now entirely written and only awaiting pictures. We got a book about this guy's head movement? That's crazy, though. Yo, his style is crazy. It's, a, it, it's, it's amazing, bro. We're going we gonna to call him the White Ali, White Muhammad. But yeah, I, I have a better understanding of, you know, how he fights. All right, so guys, this is it. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up on this video. And until next time, guys, be easy, be breezy, and peace out.